Hi, Jan. Tell me what you've got here. Okay, so this is a 2004 Toyota Sienna that I bought three years ago with 185,000 miles on it. And uh, it now has 214,000 miles. Um, runs great. I love it. And 20-year-old vehicle. Very happy with it. Okay, well, I head in through here. All right. And this is where I can sleep. And um, sometimes I travel with um, my partner and I have a second piece that I put in and that goes here and then it makes the bed 52 inches wide. All right. But when they're not here, I like to have as much floor space as possible. Right. Okay, this is my new addition. I just built this um, right okay. before this trip. Ooh. And before I had my kitchen in the back and I repurposed all of the wood and sort of makeshift a little kitchen with some running water. This is where I store my food and um, my burner and my coffee pots and things like that. And then all of my utensils. And I can um, heat up some hot water and my coffee right here. I don't cook inside though. Okay. Only hot water. So I have a backsplash and I'm hanging my keys here. And I have my soap dispenser and I decided to put my toothbrush there um, so for easy access. And this is my cosmetic bag so at night I can just wash up really nice and quickly. Table flips up. Nice. So I can cook right out here if I want to use the um, propane if I'm not hooked up to uh, shore power then I don't have enough battery so I would use my propane cooker right and then the water is in here five gallon and I don't have a spout in the back it's wastewater so I just dump it <laughs> right toss it out yeah that and works biodegradable soap well that gives you more room for just the water then because yeah. you don't have to have the gray water tank yeah and I have my plates here and tablecloth and extra butane is under there as well for when I heat. So I like that I can access it from inside because I couldn't access any of that unless I was outside before. Uh, I've had people ask me how tall is that? Do you know how tall that space is right there to put store? To yes, store things? so from, it varies because you know the van isn't even. So from here to here, it's eight and a half. Floor to floor the edge. Floor to the edge and um, in the back it's about eight. Okay. So, um, but under, it's, that's where that is, but it goes deeper under here. Mm -hmm. But now that the bed, the kitchen's in the front and the bed's in the back, I can access more, more uh, storage space. Right. And if I am parked um, overnight in a Cracker Barrel or Stealth, then I don't go out the front. I come through the middle. That's why the kitchen only goes to this space here so that I could have this alleyway where I could go right through the front if I felt right the from the bed to. to the driver's seat mm -hmm. very good yeah. I did not want to put a floor in I use all of these um, floor uh, for the seat to secure things this cabinet is secured to um, other seat permanents that are in the floor so I just wanted access to all of that and this pole was the original piece and I just had the curtain go across, but then you could see all sorts of light came through. Right. So then I built this out of um, very inexpensive, cheap wood that I had scrap around, and it's actually bound together by cardboard. <laughs> so it's bound together here to make it more firm with actually, that's actual cardboard. Mm -hmm. And then I just painted it all, and um, this rope is used to help contain the light mm -hmm. and the curtain comes all the way across and pretty much no light comes through and mostly I just use it for privacy because I do not put any reflectix um, up except for the front window if it's sunny right I just leave the front cab open so it's okay completely black usually every month go out for a few days and then in the summertime week-long to month-long trips right I mean that was the reason I bought the van was because I did a six-week trip 
to do my last six states. And what do you do when you get to states? I do cartwheels. I want to see that. Okay, let's do one. <laughs> yeah, so let's please. Let's do a cartwheel. Okay. <coughs> you know, Definitely. Here, do a cartwheel. I can't wait to see this. Okay, ready? Ready. Yay! <laughs> and I've done one in all 50 states. So I've done them all six, all 50 states, including Alaska and Hawaii. Oh my gosh. And about uh, eight countries. If I'm traveling with my bike, this is one of the reasons I made the bed this way and not have a full bed in there all the time, is so that I can put my bike inside. All right. And that's the part that goes down to complete the bed. Right, that's, yes. Luxurious sleep, I can have that. All right. And so the wheel is off. The wheel, yeah, easily to get in and out right. of the van. So I prefer to take the wheel off. Yeah. And now it's out. Hey, that wasn't hard. No. Now you can see the other storage I have. So once I took the kitchen out of the back, now I have removed all the seats. Um, I do have them stored in my attic, but I did not want them in here. So once I decided to put the kitchen in the front then I had to build a floor for the back because I have no seat so I built this floor and then I painted it tiled it put in two holes so I can access everything from both sides whatever's under here is more difficult to get so that's other storage all right and then this comes down like so and then i put this other piece in and what i really like is if it's gonna be nice out i can just sit and relax oh yeah and you know just hang out like this or yeah and so it's more i felt like it just gives me more space and seating options than having the kitchen in the back here and when my significant other is here I do have the other board. I don't have one of those pull-out beds. Mm. It's just a board. I have a bike hitch, oh, and okay. I can put the bikes on if there's two of us, but if mm -hmm. I travel solo, I just don't use the bike hitch. A cushion at home, and then the extra board. So I only take those when my partner comes. Yeah. And we're both runners and hikers, and- Oh, that's great. Just avid outdoor people. I have removable uh, cushions here. Um, covers so I can wash those but I sleep with sh regular sheets because mm -hmm. it, it's just cozier so I just got this I was, was I like to thrift and I saw this rack I said like, oh I could use that mm. and it's great because it just holds things and then in here is where I keep my uh, propane stove so when I do want to cook outside I can cook outside and then I have another um, access to the hole, another door. This one I don't use as often, so it's a little bit more firm. Yeah, things you don't use as often, yeah. yeah. What, what else is, down there? Is that sleeping bag? This is a um, tarp, and I have poles to put up an awning. I have a hammock. Um, when Tim comes, he, he likes to put his axes in there, <laughs> and all sorts of other items that he that he'll bring hiking poles all of those things can fit in there right and then i have my first aid kit on the other side because you need a first aid kit and you yes. need easier access to right. it than that so my clothes are really i am a min minimalist so i can keep a week's worth of clothes right here Right. And then I do have a bag where I put all of my athletic um, gear, like my shorts, um, athletic t-shirts, and those uh, socks and everything, because I am a runner. So um, I need different clothing for that, and I just keep that, and that's small. Yes, yeah, so that's why I want to make this my own drawer, mm -hmm. so I have a little bit more space, and it will go from the front all the way to the back and it will give me um, like a 30 inch drawer. Mm -hmm. This is a new addition up until uh, Thanksgiving I had no power and no refrigerator and no solar just did everything with ice and 
propane. So now we have a power supply. It's a 1200 watt power supply. Right behind your console there. Yes. And it is a, is that? It's what? a Pecron. Okay, a Pecron what size? It's a 600, 1200 watt. So 600 kilowatt hours and 1200 watt power. Okay. And um, this is a Bouge RV cooler. And we tested it at home to see um, before we had solar how long the battery would last. And mm -hmm. the battery lasts 24 hours without any, it runs the cooler for 24 hours straight without any addition. Do you know what capacity that one is? This is a um, 28 liter. Okay. And it's just a refrigerator or just a freezer. Okay. So you can, it does go down to freezing, um, but I'll just use it as a cooler. And this is a good angle of your little kitchen there, but that's that's what was in back or did you rebuild it? So, no, it was a huge tw uh, 48 inch old Amish kitchen, kids kitchen. Mm. And the first year it was great. And then I tried to take everything out and it was very, very heavy. And I said, okay, I'm not going to do that again. So I took it apart and made a smaller kitchen in the back. And then this time I said, I just want a kitchen in the front. Yeah. So I took it all apart, um, completely dismantled it, and then just used the scrap wood and cut it to size. And so now I have this. And I again, I said I made it small. Like it could have come all the way to here. Um you know, because the bed wouldn't hit it, but I wanted to be able to pass through. Yes. So, so I only use the, I have a like a little pee container mm -hmm. that I use um, at night, and that's it. So, so for the rest of it, you just find a I public find restroom. I find a public restroom. And then when my uh, partner's with me, that's the other reason I need the pass through, <laughs> is because I have it in the front, mm -hmm. and I use it in the front, because there's no room in the back when the second bed is there. I took out the console that was here and mm -hmm. repurposed it. So this is the console that was here, just up and down. And I took an old file cabinet. So in here, um, I keep all of the emergency car things. Oh, that's like a, a garage then. That's a little bit of my garage right mm -hmm. there. And, um, I like having that better than something that goes up and down. Mm -hmm. And like I said, when I have somebody with me, that's where my potty goes. <laughs> right. So, but that stays in there though. This, this yeah, this just it sits on this seat. Oh, I see. Okay. And I can if go, you have someone with you, you put this on the seat, then you have and that then interest. I have a, the front is my potty. Um, different campgrounds. If we're out west, we just do public lands. Mm -hmm. I really enjoy the public lands. BLM. Um, BLM. Um, Bureau of Land Management. Sometimes people ask. Right, and then. Cracker barrels, if, we're, if I'm going from point A to point B. Right. I uh, do a lot of cracker barrels or truck stops. Me too. Never stayed at a Walmart. Me, Don't I, I have, but I, I, I avoided it. Oh, and, Cabela's is great. Yeah. Cabela's Bass is great. Pro. Uh, I haven't stayed at a Bass Pro, but yeah. Cabela's. Uh, but mostly I pay for a campground mm -hmm. site. Um, I like to have the facilities, bathroom, shower. But public land, I... I west there's not that much of it around here yeah so it's cozy in here and so when i i kind of treat it as it's my house like so usually at home i come in and w go watch a movie around 7 30 or read so i do the same thing when i'm camping mm -hmm. um especially this time of year when it gets dark so early right but i, I can sit up in here lounge when that door is closed i use it as a backrest right and um i just have my this up and I think I haven't tried it yet but if there's two people in here I can now probably use this as like a little stand to watch a movie right and I just download them from Prime and when you don't have your bike in here you've got a lot of floor space yes, right there yes a lots of floor space I've even done a push-up here once all right <laughs> It's good stretching, yeah. So yes. if I don't, and I, I think eventually I have to get used to maybe having the bike on the outside because it is really nice to have all, all this that room. Space. Yes.